Remorse The List is a survival horror game that takes the player to Hidegpusta, a small and abandoned Hungarian city. The protagonist must fight his way through gruesome monstrosities, solve puzzles and look for supplies to survive, and find the origin of a weird list. In this episode we will look into the references that inspired the design of the streets, buildings and the overall atmosphere of the game. Then we will talk about how the semi-open world gameplay works. So let's dive deep into the dark and dusty alleys of the game. The game takes place in Hungary during the 90s, where the designer of the game grew up. The first step in making remorse was collecting references for buildings and streets from that time. The goal was to make the player feel the dirty and lonely atmosphere of the developer's home city's outskirts, with its flickering street lamps and narrow streets. To achieve this goal, the Presic team used unique Hungarian environment models on every level to make sure it feels authentic. Some of you might recognize the orange trash bins on the streets, the playgrounds with the metal climbers, or the concrete ping-pong tables. But there are other things the developers are familiar with, like the 10-floor block buildings, and some of the fences and vehicles, like the yellow buses on the streets. Most of the interiors are made with real ground plans of residential buildings too. Since these flats are usually small, the layout and the cluttered models helped a lot with the claustrophobic feeling of these tight rooms. These details contribute to the sinister atmosphere and the overall feeling of the game. The atmosphere of the game was also strongly influenced by the survival horror games of the 90s and 2000s. When the primary elements of the games were not the graphics or the beautiful lights, but the visceral fear that the atmosphere irradiated you with. Whether it was a foggy and deserted small town, or the failed biological experiments of a large corporation, terror was guaranteed for every player who tried to solve their mysteries. When the team started to work on the levels, they wanted the player to progress from the outer, suburban area to the depths of the city's downtown. While these narrow, lonely streets mean little to no harm to the player, you fight more and more enemies while on your way to the heart of the city. To help the player navigate Hidegpusta, the team added a simple yet useful map that contains important clues about the district. This way, the player will have just enough information about the city street names, blocked roads, and the main puzzle area. So make sure to pay attention to street signs and stay on the lookout for landmarks like the hospital, the pharmacy, or the police station. Since the game is semi-open world, it has three separate main objectives that are connected by the main hub. The player can choose which path to take first. It was important for the team to lead the player toward these objectives, so they placed clues all over the city. They are mostly slight hints, like the number 9 or the scattered bloody glass shards, but it helps a lot if the player is paying attention to them. Then, after reaching the area of an objective, the player must find out the dark secret of the place and solve its mystery. Working through the mysterious list this way will eventually uncover the gruesome truth behind it and shed light on the protagonist's past. 